Johnny, the midwives, come to help Charlotte with her stitches and we're just talking a little bit about the birth. It's really nice to see her again. Hi, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> Does it feel nice to see Johnny again? Yeah, really yeah. Nice. Is it? Yeah. We were waiting yeah, for this. I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's That's so much exciting. to talk about. I'm looking forward to the photos and the videos. Yeah, we, we've already seen some photos. They're yeah, really? So nice. Yeah, yeah. Gonna have a look. I'm stayed so the rest in you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so that's really, that's the moment. But that is already. Yeah. I really don't understand that he was okay after. Oh, are you looking with us? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he recognizes oh. Johnny's voice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he knows I'm watching his birth. Yeah. 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 We're getting a little bit more used to this now with the feeding routines and stuff. Little man, you're on my side of the bed and he just dropped a big fart. Oh, I think that was a poo. Too. I think it was a poo, yeah. Okay, so our original nature nurse, her last day yesterday, and we had a bit of a, like a oh my goodness moment that we were going to be alone. However, Charlotte's actually not been healing too well. Um, her stitches um, have been getting progressively worse and it, and it turns out that it's actually, it was a problem that kind of happened at the hospital and they stitched her wrong. So she's been in quite a lot of pain. Normally by now, day seven, she should be able to be doing quite a lot, going for walks and stuff, but she really is pretty much bed bound still. So they've given us a nurse for an extra three days to see how she um, progresses and heals. So our new nurse, Hilda, is upstairs with Char and Archie. Um, and it's Sunday today, so um, I'm gonna use this opportunity whilst Char's got help to go to the shop, stock up on some sting things that we need. I'm gonna vlog it, so let's go. You're not coming though, June? Juniper, go in your bed. I don't think that's your bed. goodness that was tiring oh it's not until you like go and do stuff like that that you realize how much the no sleep actually has effect on us or on me anyway well, that was literally just a quick two shop trip one bag managed to fit everything in one bag but i feel like i've just climbed a mountain i'm fucking tired now yeah he's already to go for my this is a position that he would lie in charlotte's belly when he was in there. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I told you. We're back at the hospital, and this time for Char, um, her stitches um, are either wrong or not healing properly, so we have to get them checked. So, um, as I said earlier on the vlog, uh, Shara's stitching hasn't he wasn't healing properly the way it should. At day seven, you know, she should be able to... Was that you or Art? She should be able to be walking around and healing, go out for your first walk around the block today, but it's actually been getting progressively worse. And we're now at the hospital getting it checked because um, it could be a number of things. So we're basically getting it checked and then we'll see. It's not all bad because Shar has a friend that works at the hospital, which is super nice. Anna is her name. And Anna came, which made the visit to the hospital a little bit more nice. A friendly face to, yeah, to greet you, yeah? Mm -hmm. And bring you Fanta. <laughs> the best Fanta ever. So for now, it's good news. We're heading home. The pain that Charlotte's been feeling, pain that Charlotte's been feeling is um, an internal bleed underneath all of the wounds and stitching that she has down there. For now, we can't really do anything. We just have to go home and wait for it to heal. All in all, it's good for now. So we're gonna go home 
and we're gonna get some dinner because I'm oh, starving so sure. How are you feeling? Yeah, fine. Yeah? Okay. How are you feeling, dude? Yeah, I'm not too happy, I think. Love ya. Love ya. Love ya. <laughs> oh, Charlotte has been feeling a little bit upset and a little bit emotional after the roller coaster of a week that we've had. And one thing that she's been really wanting recently, she's been asking for months and months and months, is to upgrade her phone because she has a really shit phone and she's not been able to take any photos or videos of Archie. So I am going to grab her an iPhone 12 Pro Max, same as my one. It takes pretty good uh, videos and photos. So I've just told her that I'm coming to get some groceries and get some diapers, but really I'm getting one of these for her and they're gonna go home and surprise her with it. So yeah. Okay, back in the car, um, secured the goods, even managed to wrap it inside the shop, which is good. Okay, I'm at home. I've been trying to think of a creative way to surprise her with this. I've bought her favorite cereal and I'm gonna open up the honey loops. I'm gonna put the phone inside the cereal. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try anyway and surprise her that way. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna somehow sneak it in. So I'm in the basement and I've got thing here and here. And I'm gonna try and hide it now. So Charlotte's upstairs, so we have to be super quiet. I bought you these. Who? Huh? Open. Huh? What are you doing? Open it up. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? Huh? Were they open? They were open, but... Is that what was in it? <laughs> is that what was in it? What is it? <laughs> Okay. It's the one you like, it's ocean blue. Well, I don't know if I can accept this though. Why? Just because. It's not. We need stuff like this to cheer you up. Okay. And now you can take beautiful photos of Archie and videos. But I don't know, like, should we not return it, maybe? Why? I don't know. Why? Oh my goodness! That's sick. Wow. Whoa. I can't know, but I can't believe that's that that's mine though. Why? I've never had a new phone like that before. <laughs> so Charlotte's grandparents um, are coming over. This is the first time that they are meeting Archie, right? Oh, that was the the herinnering of me and Archie. That is fantastic. That is nice. Yeah. And the thoughts of Papa. Papa. Oh, thank you. Oh, look. He was like staring at me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The kids are on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. He came near me. He didn't look at me. He looked at you. I was like, hello, I gave birth to you. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh stretch. Is she going to stretch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kijk, so zat hij in the bag, doet hij steeds die voetjes zo. Oh, yeah. Oh, what Who is it, Jean? Kids, we are So that was a beautiful moment with uh, Charlotte's grandparents. The doorbell just went and we had a really special package arrive. Now the reason that this package means so much to me and is so close to my heart is because of how much I needed something like this right now. Lots of memories with this gift. Yeah! That is what we want. 
that time has come to leave the house. It's been 10 days now since Archie was born. We haven't really gone out together. Well, we haven't actually gone out at all together except for the hospital. We're going out for a walk for the very first time. It's gonna be good for Charlotte's mind. It's gonna be good for my mind. It's gonna be good for Archie's mind. We're gonna take a walk uh, around the corner to the castle. Also for the very first time using our buggy or kinder wagon. So yeah, it's all ready to go. His jacket's in there. He's got his merino wool blankets ready. Everything's ready to go. I'm not sure about you, June, but do you want to come with us? Or what are you thinking? Do you want to come with us? Or do you want to just chill here? Do you want to come, June? Yeah? Archie, you ready? Ready, June? Come on. Sit. Okay, you need to sit. Don't let go because we're on a hill. Mama walking her first baby. Hot dad alert. Quite sure what point to start uh, to stop counting the days, but Char is starting to heal uh, really nicely, and she's starting to feel a little bit more alive, a little bit more herself. Her energy's picking up, which is really nice to see. And I'm going to surprise her with her beautiful, beautiful breakfast slash brunch, the most luxury cheesy bechamel sauce. I'm going to make her a five-star gourmet toasty. Grandmother's meatloaf. Bechamel sauce, got lovely baker bread, nice dark brown bread. I'm gonna fry two eggs as well, and then we're gonna have meat, egg, cheese, and then all that lovely bechamel sauce on top. You're looking after your bro? Hmm? Huh? 